It seems like everybody is waiting for part two of Crazy Rich Asians with high expectations. And while the fans are excited, the cast and the producers of the show found themselves in a huge controversy that almost threatened to ruin the whole franchise. There are some big updates regarding the sequel, so let's take a look at what part two of Crazy Rich Asians brings to the table. The first movie managed to steal the spotlight and became an overnight success in 2018. It was all due to the right reasons since the movie had everything people enjoy. Drama, romance, luxury, and humor. If you're a fan of the movie, you for sure know that Crazy Rich Asians was based on a book of the same title. Not only that, but the book is part of a trilogy, which means that people expected the movie to be followed with at least two more parts. All the signs pointed to a positive answer, as the first movie earned more than $238 million. Soon after the news regarding the high earnings of the movie hit the internet, the creators announced that they would be working on the sequel based on the second book from the trilogy, China Rich Girlfriend. It all sounded fantastic, and people were over the moon. No one could have expected that soon after the announcement, there would come a huge drama that would threaten the production of the sequel. The biggest hint that something went wrong with Crazy Rich Asians 2 came with a 2019 interview, when one of the cast members, Aquafina, shared that the cast hadn't received a script for the sequel. On top of that, the cast of the movie had no news regarding the second movie, and they all seemed to be on edge about it. The movie was obviously being delayed by something, and the reason why became clear shortly after Aquafina's interview aired. Not long after the interview, the controversy about alleged pay discrepancies made headlines. The issue was that Warner Brothers refused to pay screenwriters Peter Chiarelli and Adele Lim the same amount of money for the second movie. The two wrote the script for the first movie together, and Lim was offered only $100,000 for the two movies, while Chiarelli received an offer amounting to $1 million. The production of the movie tried to justify this huge difference in their salaries by claiming that Chiarelli had much more experience than Lim. Lim was angry about this offer, and rightfully so. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Chiarelli offered Lim to split his salary with her, but she rejected this and in an interview said, "...being evaluated that way can't help but make you feel that this is how they view my contributions. What I make shouldn't be dependent on the generosity of the white guy writer." The director John Chu claims that he tried to change the offer for Lim, but his attempt was unsuccessful. After a strong wave of backlash from the fans of the franchise, Chu stood up for Lim online and shared a letter in which he claimed, "...when I discovered she was unhappy with the initial offer, the producers, myself, and studio executives leapt into action to ensure we got a place of parity between the two writers at a significant number." Chu additionally revealed that after many discussions, they made several different offers to Lim, but she declined all of them, and that's why they had to move on. Following the drama with Lim, the second scriptwriter, Chiarelli, also declined the $1 million offer and left the team to focus on other projects. This mess is the reason why the movie was postponed. The male star of the show, Henry Golding, shared at the beginning of March 2022 that he keeps bugging the director about the sequel. Golding said, "...I always bug director John Chu about it, and he tells me the same thing every time. They're trying to figure out the writing. I know they're working on it." And then he shared that he believes that there will be more news sooner than later. This was said when the team still tried to find a scriptwriter for Crazy Rich Asians 2. Well, everything's good now because the production finally has a scriptwriter on board. Amy Wang, who's a Chinese-Australian scriptwriter, joined the team in March, and reportedly, the second movie is about to begin the production process. Regarding the replacement of Lim and Chiarelli with Wang, the director Chu wrote in his statement, "...I am, of course, frustrated that we all can't do the next one together, but I think the conversation this has started is much more important than ourselves and the movie sequels, frankly. So who am I to get in the way of that?" Another thing that made it hard for the production to do anything earlier was COVID and the whole pandemic. If they had wanted to start filming sooner, it wouldn't have been possible due to the pandemic regulations that were set in Singapore. However, Henry Golding shared that he can't wait to get back to Singapore and film the sequel. This leads us to the big question, though. Who's returning for the second movie? And who is pretty much done with the franchise? There's very good news for the fans of the couple of Rachel Chu and Nick Young because both Henry Golding and Constance Wu agreed to film the next movie. Thanks to the confirmation of their appearance, we can sleep comfortably, knowing that there will be more action between Nick and Rachel in Crazy Rich Asians 2. On the other hand, Aquafina has yet to make an announcement about her involvement in the franchise. Although she was eager to participate in filming back in 2019, it's unknown whether she still holds the movie close to her heart and how interested she is in the sequel. The same goes for Gemma Chan, who became an overnight sensation when the first movie aired. She's currently very busy as she has recently finished filming a new horror drama, Don't Worry Darling, where she took part in the supporting cast, playing the role of Shelley. Not only that, but she's also filming a sci-fi movie, True Love. And she's gearing up to star in Cuckoo alongside Hunter Schaefer, who's best known for her role of Jules in Euphoria. As you can see, Gemma Chan is booked and busy. 
On March 24, 2022, it was announced that Gemma is also taking part in the biopic of Anna Mae Wong, who is a movie legend due to her being the first Chinese-American movie star ever. Gemma seems to be extremely excited about this project, so it's unknown whether she will find time to film a sequel to Crazy Rich Asians. However, many fans believe that she'll surely be on board because her character has presumably a big part in the second movie. We're hoping that the producers will pull up a fat paycheck to get this icon on the screen, because Crazy Rich Asians wouldn't be the same without her. We've also got some news regarding the plot of the second movie. As it was already mentioned, the movies are adapted from the same titled books, written by Kevin Kwan, so it's only expected that they would follow a similar plot. Golding shared some information regarding this topic. Sometimes it's really difficult to translate the original books onto the big screen, and with the pressure of trying to keep up the same interest we had with the first movie, the bar is already raised really high. And although it's true, fans believe that Rachel will reconnect with her father in part two as it's done in the book. The second book is titled China Rich Girlfriend, and the novel takes place two years after Rachel became Nick's fiance. As they're getting ready for their wedding, Rachel is informed that Nick's mother found Rachel's long-lost father. And well, well, as it turns out, Rachel's father is a Chinese billionaire. Now the title of the second book makes complete sense, and fans expect that the sequel will follow this storyline of Rachel reconnecting with her rich father and becoming a wealthy woman herself. The movie will be presumably titled just like the book, and the title is derived from what Nick's mother said when she found out who Rachel's father was. These people aren't just everyday rich with a few hundred million. They are China rich. The other portion of the plot is supposedly revolving around Gemma Chan's character Astrid. That's why many people believe that Gemma Chan won't disappoint the fans and will return to the screen to portray Astrid again. According to the predictions based on the novel, the sequel will focus on Astrid's relationship with Charlie, who is played by Harry Shum Jr. And for those who are big fans of Kitty Pong, don't be disappointed, because the rumor has it that her character is getting more screen time this time. Kitty Pong is played by Fiona Shi, and she's supposedly making a big step in part two. Kitty will get married into a very rich and elite family, which will help her to start a whole new life and forget her soap opera career. On top of that, the second movie is expected to include quite a few fresh faces as well, because as it often goes, there are some new characters appearing that need to be cast. For example, Rachel's father, the mysterious Chinese billionaire, will for sure make a buzz, and we're already excited to find out who's going to play him. Interestingly, it seems like we aren't the only ones excited for the sequel, because Harry Shum Jr. can't wait to get back on set and shoot the movie. In an interview with Pop Sugar, he shared, We constantly have reunions. I don't know if that's our way of trying to satiate our void of not being able to work together in that capacity, but Aquafina, Jimmy, and the rest of the crew, we constantly try and make ways to see each other. He's a total sweetheart, and he happily revealed that the cast loves each other and that the love will definitely radiate on that screen if we ever get a chance to do it again. Now, it's hard to say when the filming will begin, but it's expected to happen by the end of 2022 or in early 2023. Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching! Bye!